Hi there, and thanks for joining us for today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional. Our reading is titled The Secret of Contentment, and it was written by Amy Boucher Pye. When Johnny Erickson Tata returned home after suffering a swimming accident that left her a quadriplegic, her life was vastly different. Now doorways were too narrow for her wheelchair, and sinks were too high. Someone had to feed her until she decided to relearn how to feed herself. Lifting the special spoon to her mouth from her arm splint the first time, she felt humiliated as she smeared applesauce on her clothes, but she pressed on. As she says, my secret was learning to lean on Jesus and say, Oh God, help me with this. Today, she manages a spoon very well. Johnny says her confinement made her look at another captive, the Apostle Paul, who was imprisoned in a Roman jail and his letter to the Philippians. Johnny strives for what Paul achieved. I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Note that Paul had to learn to be at peace. He wasn't naturally peaceful. How did he find contentment? Through trusting in Christ. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. We all face different challenges throughout our days, and we all can look to Jesus moment by moment for help, strength, and peace. He will help us to hold back from snapping at our loved ones. He will give us the courage to do the next hard thing. Look to Him and find contentment. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 10 through 13. I rejoiced greatly in the Lord, that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to feel joy Even in difficult circumstances, you give us the strength and courage when we feel helpless and weak, when we're discouraged and even afraid of the future. Remind us that you are near and that you hold our future in your hands and we can trust you with it. Thank you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.